I know that you believe uh, people can um, learn to be more resilient. And I think that that is something that we could all benefit from during these challenging, uncertain times. So what do, what do you think it takes for each of us to develop or deepen our ability to feel or operate with resiliency in our life? I, uh, the first thing is to understand that resilience is learnable. Okay. If that's a word, <laughs> we can learn it. All right. And I think of it, in some cases, I think of it as a little bit, a little bit skill based from the standpoint of, of, of developing kind of the, a, a lot of the mental attitudes or beliefs that kind of go into it. So, but, and that takes some practice. But I mean, so let me walk through a number of different things that I think comprise it. And and there's so there's a, a long selection list that I think that that goes with this. Well, the first is being able to handle unpleasant feelings. Uh, a second would be being able to ask for help. So asking for help actually contributes to your resilience. Not a burden. It's actually a compliment to others. So asking for help is a second big one. And those two combined, being being able to handle the unpleasant feelings and and being able to ask for help, to me, comprise uh, emotional strength. Then we can add on, um, again, a, a sense of community. We can add in um, all the different kinds of health practices, sleep, sunlight, supplements, Fresh exercise, air. right? Yeah. We can go on for those kinds of things that help us be more resilient. So all the basics, um, the, and then we go on to kind of the whole, the, the attitudes and beliefs you hold. So, and, and this to me gets at what I call resilient thinking. So you can hold certain kinds of attitudes and beliefs that make a difference. And you can ask yourself certain kinds of questions that also make a difference. And so what would the attitudes and beliefs look like? Um, it, um, I'm going to take uh, every life experience and turn it into a learning experience. That's a great attitude. That's uh, solid, right, yeah. Right? That's a great resilient attitude or belief to hold. Um, or, um, or I've persevered um, through difficult circumstances in the past. I can do this again, right? Same kind of thing. It's Now I'm drawing from past experiences. And so those are just two examples of, of kinds of attitudes and beliefs you can hold. And again, I would choose what's relevant for you in terms of the kind of thing that's going to help you stay strong in the face of adverse circumstances or to persist through something that is hard. And then you can also ask what I call resilient questions. And so resilient questions, um, you know, so the one through the pandemic for me was how can I make, um, how can I um, turn this into uh, an experience that brings out the best in me. 